And it's been nearly a year since a tornado caused significant damage in Castlewood and to its school. And while they plan to rebuild, there was a bond election Tuesday to also expand the existing building. On the night beat, Kelloland's Carter Schmidt shares the results and what's next for the district. Good evening, Carter. Good evening, Bridget. There were two bond questions on yesterday's ballot. The first one was $6 million, which includes new and expanded classrooms, a new gym, and other updated spaces. The second bond question included additional additions for the for if the first bond um, passed, but they both failed, one of them just shy of 15 votes. May 12th, 2022 is a day people in Castlewood will never forget. This storm just devastated our community. Devastation that left parts of the school building in shambles. The school is just the life of our community and we just need to move forward. And uh, it's just a sad day here. While retired now, Karen Schooley served as the school's business manager for over 30 years. She supported the bond issue. We need to replace our school and we just felt that now is the time to to make it bigger and better. The school, the gyms are, are the life of our community. They're, they're just busy seven days a week. Uh, it's the place for the kids to go year round. And we need to make more classrooms because our enrollment is growing. The school district hosted two community meetings to discuss the bonds in February. Superintendent Peter Book says he was surprised the first one did not pass. That was definitely our hope that question one and the six million would would go. So a little a little surprised and you know sad sad for the students and sad for the for the staff. But um, you know we're very resilient and we have been since May 12 and uh, we'll. We'll, we'll keep going. Adding on to the school has been a discussion for a while, long before the tornado hit. But now that they have to rebuild, Book says it feels like the right time to expand, too. We want to be efficient and fiscally responsible and do it now, so we feel like this is the best time to do it. So uh, that was the whole purpose with the bond ask. But for now, it's back to the drawing board. We'll have to uh, take a step back and uh, the administration will work with the school board on, on what our options are moving forward and uh, you know see see what we want to do um, from here on here on out in the meantime the school district has adapted local churches were used at the beginning of the year for some classes now modular classrooms are in place and to help with getting kids from the main building to the new modular classrooms and especially in the south dakota winters they built a tunnel here out of three storage containers the thing I missed most probably was the collaboration between the teachers and moving into the mobile unit. You know, we have our collaboration back and honestly it feels like school. I mean, we've been in here for so long now that the kids don't think anything of it. And Book says they are close to working on a deal with insurance for the rebuild and they plan to start that process this spring. Now looking at the results of the bond election, they needed 60% of the vote to be yes for it to pass. Bond question one was around 56% yes, while bond question two only had 39% voting yes.